Good morning, friends. Good morning. My name is Miss Robin, and I'm a children's librarian at the Mount Airy branch of Carroll County Public Libraries. Would you like to play and learn with me today? Yes? Wow, I'm, I'm here at the library with some of my friends. Do you see with your eyes some special library friends? Check it out. Look. Over here, we have Turtle and Mona, the library baby, and Play and Learn Dog. Do you recognize this puppet theater? If you've ever come to the Mount Airy branch before, you might have played there. Yeah, and oh, on this side, we have Stegosaurus and Hedgehog. It's good to talk about the things that you see in your world, right? That is how we build our vocabulary. That means that we're learning new words. So when we're starting to read, we're gonna be able to sound out the words because we already know them. Do you see anything else around here? Do you see what I see besides our library, friends? A letter for today. What letter is this? Did you guess the letter S? It is the letter S. I'm going to hold the letter S up to the screen and see if you can trace the S with your finger. Can you trace the S on the screen? That is what the letter S looks like. And the letter S makes the sound that we usually make when we're imitating a snake. Can you make that sound? That's right. S sounds like now, there are lots of words that begin with the letter S. Can you think of an S word, you and your grown-up? Oh, I'm glad I mentioned grown-ups. Grown-ups, I wanted to give you a heads up that at some point today, we're going to be playing with a scarf. Scarf begins with the letter S, right? So if you have a napkin or a tissue or anything that your child can shake, I won't do it till, till a few minutes into the program, so you have time to look for something. But grown-ups, if you could help with that, that would be wonderful. Okay, back to the letter S. There are lots of fun things that you can think of probably that start with S, like scarf. And I think there are also lots of animal words that begin with the letter S. So we're going to play with that. But before I do, I wanted to show you something that I made with Play-Doh. You can buy Play-Doh, you can make Play-Doh, your grown-up can make Play-Doh, it's a great science experiment. But I have some Play-Doh, and when you squish Play-Doh in your hands, friends, you're learning about your world with your fingers, and it's really, um, really fun. So I opened up this Play-Doh and got some Play-Doh, and I rolled it and rolled it and rolled it. Look, till it looked kind of like a snake. And I'm going to take my Play-Doh. Let's see if I can do it so it looks right on the screen for you. There! Oh, and I made the letter S. Actually, is that right there? Yeah. The letter S. You could make all kinds of alphabet letters with Play-Doh. Do you know what else you could make alphabet letters with? This might be fun to do someday this week when it's super hot in, and it's too hot to play outside. You and your grown-ups could cook some spaghetti. Yeah, when you cook spaghetti, it gets all soft and smushy, just like Play-Doh. And you and your grown-up could have fun making all the letters of the alphabet. Spaghetti and Play-Doh, friends. They are lots of fun. Lots of fun. So let's get back to the letter S for a minute. I can think of lots of animals besides snake, ooh, yeah, I just thought of that one, that start with the letter S. And guess what? At the library, check it out, all the way over here, see? All the books are still there. All the books are still at the library for you to borrow. And I have a pile right here of nonfiction books all about animals that begin with the letter S. Can you think of one with your grown-up? I'm going to show you an illustration of one. Do you know what animal that is? It's a seal. Seal begins with S. The title is Andre, the most famous 
harbor seal. Open the book so you can see inside. Here's an illustration of a seal. You can learn a lot from children's nonfiction books. Yeah, and all you have to do is give us a call and say, hey, I'd like some animal books, and I'm happy to help you. Let's sing a song about the seal. Are you ready? It goes like this. Shh. Seal is sleeping. Don't wake him up. Shh. Seal is sleeping. Don't wake him up. Shh. <laughs> seal is sleeping. Don't wake him up. Shh. Now we're very quiet. Did you stay quiet? That's hard, right? Wake up, seal, it's time to play. Wake up, seal, it's time to play. Is he awake? Wake up, seal, it's time to play. Now we're very loud. Let's make a loud noise. Ah! Yay! That was fun. So seal begins with S. Hmm. Can you think of another animal word that begins with the letter S? How about something that's black and white and sometimes stinky? Did you guess skunk? Look at that, there's a skunk. Oh, skunk begins with S. Let's open the book and look inside at a good illustration about with, oh, look at this skunk. Wow, he has lots of stripes. So I guess some skunks have more stripes than others. Oh dear, look at that illustration. Do you think that skunk is about to spray the bear? Oh, I don't know. Should we sing our, our song about the skunk now? Ready, Let's start quiet. Shh, skunk is sleeping, don't wake him up. Skunk is sleeping, don't wake him up. Skunk is sleeping, don't wake him up. Shh. Now we're very quiet. Is he sleeping? Which should we wake him up? Here we go. Wake up, skunk. It's time to play. Wake up, skunk. It's time to play. Wake up, skunk. It's time to play. Now we're very loud. Let's be very loud. Ah! All right, skunk is awake. Hmm. Let's do one more animal that begins with S. Oh my goodness, I have so many. Let's sing the song about one more. Can you think of an animal? This is an animal that I see outside around the library. It's pretty small. It has a bushy tail. And this time of year, it's collecting nuts. Do you, can you guess what kind of animal it is? Sometimes this animal makes me mad because it steals all the seed from my bird feeders. Do you know what it is? I'll show you an illustration. What is that? A squirrel, right? And there's the word squirrel. We have a, some great nonfiction books about squirrels. Should, should we sing the song again? We'll start with sleeping. Here we go. Squirrel is sleeping. Don't wake him up. Shh. Squirrel is sleeping. Don't wake him up. Shh. Squirrel is sleeping. Don't wake him up. Now we're very quiet. Shh. Good. Ready to get loud? Let's wake up, squirrel. Wake up, squirrel. It's time to play. Wake up, squirrel. It's time to play. Wake up, squirrel, it's time to play. Now we're very loud. Okay, your best loud sound. Ah! <laughs> Yay! So we had squirrel, skunk, and do you remember the first animal that we showed that begins with S? Seal, here, this one, this picture is easier to see, I think, on the screen. Seal. Yeah, and, and there's lots more. How about a sloth? Sloth begins with S. Or how about this animal? This is a really crazy looking one. Seahorses. Yeah, yeah. That would be fun today to make 
alphabet letters with play or spaghetti or play I spy my little eye for things that begin with S, right? Good job. Hopefully you'll be able to do some of that today. But I also thought it would be a good day to have some fun with a scarf. Do you have a napkin or a towel or something you can use? Yeah? All right. So we'll practice together. Just do what I do and then I'll teach you some new songs. All right. Let's just practice moving our scarf. We wave our scarves together. We wave our scarves together. We wave our scarves together because it's fun to do. Can you wave it up high? Sometimes you can make it feel windy when you do that. We wave it down low. I'm going to wave mine so low you can't even see it. We wave it in a circle. Can you make your scarf go in a circle? Move your arm around and around. Because it's fun to do. Yay! Sometimes it's fun to pretend things with a scarf. How about if you pretend with your towel or napkin or tissue that you're wearing a hat? Can you hang, hang it on your head like this? It's funny, right? Do I look funny? I think I look pretty funny. Here's a song I'm going to teach you. It's so easy, and I know you learn things really quickly when we repeat them. So it's the same words over and over. But we get to pretend, which is so fun. All right, keep your hat on your head. When you take off your hat, when you take off your hat, when you take off your hat, you will turn into a cat. Okay, take off your hat. Take it off. Okay, now it's time to be a cat. What does a cat say? Meow, meow. That's good, did you make a cat sound? Meow, what else does a cat do? Wave its tail, wave its tail. Okay friends, let's put on our hat again. Here we go. Can you sing the song with me this time? When you take off your hat, when you take off your hat, when you take off your hat, you will turn into a bat. Bat! That sounds the same as cat and hat. Let's take off our hat. Now, we can use our scarf to pretend to be a bat. This can be like part of our bat wings. Ready? Let's fly. It's fun to pretend, isn't it? Let's pretend to be one more thing. Let's put on our hat. All right, is your hat on your head? Here we go. When you take off your hat, when you take off your hat, when you take off your hat, you will turn into a tiger. <laughs> a tiger. Okay, take off your hat. What does a tiger say? Rawr! Can you make your terrible claws and show your teeth? Rawr! It's fun to pretend with a scarf, right? All right, I'm going to pretend one more thing with my scarf before we're done for the day. Can you take your scarf, and this is going to build up your finger muscles, and squash the scarf into your hand so it's hiding? You can't even see it. See it? It's hiding. Here we go. Jack in the box, sit so still. Will he come out? Yes, he will. Yay. Let's do that one one more time. Okay, squish up your scarf. So tight into your little fingers, you got it? Here we go again. Jack in the box. Sit so still. Will he come out? Here he comes. Yes, he will. Yay! Good job, friends. Good job. Grown-ups, this is a reminder that 
our, all of us, not just our little friends, learn best by repetition. The other thing that contributes significantly to learning is having fun. We are pleasure-driven creatures and we tend to want to do things over and over that are fun. Have you noticed that with your child? Yes. So if we can make things like creating letters from the alphabet fun for them, they're learning the letters and having a good time. Also, remember that we have lots of nonfiction books about animals. Today, if you want to reinforce S, I'm here today and I'm happy to help. Give us a call at the library and I'll help you find some books. The other thing I did just to show you is I found some picture books that the title of the book begins with the letter S. Seagull and Sea Dragon. There's the seagull. There's the sea dragon. And here's another one of my favorite authors that I'd like to highlight, especially with this time of year. Todd Parr is a great author illustrator. And this word here, see the letter S? School book. And there are lots of books on our shelves right now about starting school. So even though things are a little different right now, these kinds of books are a great platform to have those kinds of conversations with your children. So keep in mind, we would love to be able to do reader's advisory service for you. If you just give us a call, we can help you. You don't have to know the titles of the books. Okay, we can help you find them and use our express pickup service. Okay, enough plugging of those library services. I hope that you have a wonderful day and find lots of things that begin with the letter S. Reach up high. Reach down low. I hate to say, I gotta go. But remember, you are great. You are smart. You are strong. You are loved. And today is gonna be an awesome day. Bye friends, happy Wednesday.